So, hello again folks. Uh, I had a message from somebody asking me um, if I could do a wee quick video on the easiest, best way to wrap Easy Egg. Um, Easy Egg is available from Blood and Buzzer. This is it here. Um, it's just a, a cord core and egg material then twined on through the the cord core and I'll tie a wee egg fly and show you the best way well the best way for me anyway um, so the hook and the vise is a size 10 blob hook and the bead is a 3.2 mil pink um, available from blob and buzzer the thread I'm going to use is a 12 0 shear from Gordon Griffiths so we'll just start our thread behind the bead Roll on a few turns of thread and wear scissors, trim away our excess and run our thread towards the rear of the hook where the barb would be on our hook. Right, our egg material. So you just want to take off roughly about 3-4 inches of egg material. So we'll just trim that away. So one of your two ends, this end here will tick. Now, if you hold this part tight between your fingers and strip the egg material away from the core, and as this is at the start, in the middle of that is a cord core. So that's our tying on. That's how we're going to tie on. Um, what you do is tie on over the, over the cord, not trapping your egg material, and run that forward. Just bring our thread forward to the front of the hook and bring that up behind the bead. And the reason why we bring that up is we're trying to keep this egg, the body of it, the same shape from front to back. So just come on with your scissors. And throw away our excess. We turn over just to tighten that on. Run our thread down. And you want to tighten on this egg yarn now from where we want our egg to start. And run our thread back up behind the hook. So, our egg material. Now, I have this full length. Now, I left mine's up the ways when I'm tying the egg. Um, you can pull it towards you, you can pull it down, whatever way works best for you. Um, but for me, I prefer lifting it straight up. Now, what you want to do is moisten between your finger and thumb. Don't soak it. You only want a wee test of saliva between your finger and thumb and pull your egg material back. And all you're looking to do same as hackling a, f a fly and you only want to do the first couple of inches you don't have to do the whole enough to give you a full turn so bring your material around avoiding the point of your hook and give your full turn same again moisten your fingers and pull your egg material back and lay another wrap down in front of the last one and the same again and just keep winding forward in the same manner always watching and being careful that your turns are going one in front of the other so the same again moisten the finger and thumb pull your material back and the same again and all wrap around and it's just a similar thing again it's basically repeat itself from the back of the hook to the front and what that does is it gives you the perfect shaped egg so same again and just keep going until we get the behind the bead And 
and egg flies are pretty easy to tie, they're pretty simple with eggs and blobs. Blobs work the exact same way. Um, <clears throat> I would tie a blob using the exact same process. Um, pull the material back that it's all facing towards the rear of the hook and then wrap on. Still doing the same and pulling our material towards the rear of the hook and we get maybe half a wrap and then maybe a full one. Right. So that's our tying off point here. Just behind the bead. And all you have to do is just pull that material back, expose the cord that I want to tie off. So bring your thread up. Just a wee punch on the loop, and then come on the other one, two or three turns. Come on the other one, trim away our excess. You want to get this on as tight to the bead as you can without cutting your thread. There we go. Just trim that. So our uh, our last few turns. Um, this is only nail varnish out of the out of the paint shop. So come on, man, and varnish your thread. Um, the reason being is if you try and varnish that you'll need a dubbing needle the slightest wee dab on round its hand there to varnish your thread than it does to try and to try and put varnish on behind that bead. So um as I told you before I will varnish by hand but um you can just throw on your three or turn whoop varnish we are whoop varnish too. So come on then. What we'll finish? Pull your thread tight. Come on, then. Take away your excess. So that's basically your your easy egg pattern. So what I do then is I pull it around towards the front. My long hairs that's sitting out of place. I come on and trim them away. So. There you have it folks, that's your sample egg pattern, um, tidy, easy egg, egg yarn, and on its day, they can be a deadly fly, um, I know Andy Humphreys, one of the fishing competitions we had up in uh, Ballyhaper, there was something like Ten minutes left to left to fish, and one guy had a fish at nine pound, just over nine pound. Um, and on the last throws, Andy Humphrey threw on was actually an orange, a competition orange, that color. Uh, competition orange, easy egg, um, and pulled a. I think it was just over sixteen pound. The trout they caught, his biggest they ever tried. Um, I actually netted it for him. Um, so, uh, just goes to show when I'm on the form for ticking, they'll tick. But for me, that's that's my favorite color on it that trout flesh. And for me, that's the easiest way that I find to wrap the easy egg. So, for the person that wanted it, there you go. Um, and for anybody else, if, uh, if it helps in any way at all, um, it's been a benefit, you know what I mean. So, there you go folks. Thank you for watching and give us a wee like and a subscribe. And until the next time, thank you very much. Tight lines.